All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakak Wadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone. And Shalom to all the Akim out there preaching his word in truth and sincerity. All right. So, this video basically is going to be based off a video I was just watching from another brother, elder brother. He re, um, he re uploaded something on his YouTube page, you know, and um, it's titled around like when are you going to realize. Um, this devil truly hates you, you know, and it's, it's just like, it's, it's really just irritating that our people don't realize who their enemy is. Like, you know, I'm not upset like that about it yet. Just seeing the shit that Esau does, that's what makes me upset, you know, seeing the devil just be, being a devil. All right. Yet I understand that his time is coming to where he's, he's going out of here, man. He's get he's, he's going down. All right. Yet yeah, two thirds of our people, you Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans, you still don't realize it, that the so-called white man hates you, man. And it never has changed. It never changed. All right. Since we came over here um, through slavery, you know, the Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans been getting oppressed and slaughtered by Esau. All right. Even, you know, you had that video come out about in 1978 where the little racist eat of my kids, you know, Calling the the uh, the uh, you know so called uh, black black kids like niggas and everything. This was 1978. That's not even that long ago. And then you fast forward to today, like in the video the brother uploaded, and the same stuff still going on. They still treat you like dirt, man. Yet now they do it in a manner where they have the law on their side, so to speak. Where well they always had the law on their side. Yet now you pretty much. They're just uh, more more deceitful how they do it. Try to sugarcoat it or say, no, nah, you tripping, whatever, you know. Then if you do something to them, it's a whole different story. You know, if the same situation was to happen to an Edomite, all right? Yet our people, they still want to look at their own people, mainly us who, who are telling them who their enemy is. They look at us as the enemy, yet they don't even look at their enemy, the so-called white man, as their enemy. And that's just crazy, man. That our people can't see that yet i understand at the same time you know so the first scripture i want to get is sirach 10 12 and 10 sirach 12 and 10 never never trust thine enemy for like as iron rusteth so is his wickedness yeah you know iron it rusts so his wickedness is going to be shown and he's always showing his wickedness man he can't hide it at one point or another, he's going to expose the wickedness that's really inside of him, man. Esau always is going to show his true colors if you just give him time, all right? And you've been seeing it time in and time again, all the wickedness that he, he really has um, inside of him and the hatred that he really has for you so-called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans. Now it's at the point to where, like in 1978, they're back in that spirit pretty much. They're They're blatantly in your face with it. Yeah, they can get in trouble, this and that. Now it's being publicized on the news or whatever. Yet, nothing really happens to them. Okay, they get their little moment of shine saying that they racist on the news, this and that. But then what? They get a GoFundMe, get lots of money. All right, go get a, a better job than the job they had. Or probably don't even have to work again. If they're a cop, they just get um, pay leave or whatever. So they're just getting a check just for just for um, being a devil. Nothing bad happens to them. They just got, they get brought out on the news. Everybody talk about, oh, we need to do something about it. How how many times are y'all going to say we need to do something about it and y'all don't do anything about it? Nothing's going to change. All right. That's why it says for like as iron rust, if so is his wickedness. All right. You can't, you can't make the, the rust go away on iron, man. When, that's how his wickedness is. It's not going to go away. His spirit isn't upright in him. All right. He just knows how to be the devil, which he is. All right. And it was set up like that from the beginning with Jacob and Esau from in the womb. Yet our people, they're destroyed for lack of knowledge and they don't understand that, man. They don't understand who their enemy really is, which is the so-called white man who was Esau, Edom, according to the scriptures. All right. And verse 11 says, though he humble himself and go crouching, yet, yet take, good heed of, uh, take good heed and beware of him. Yeah, he doesn't. He doesn't even humble himself most of the time no more. Now he's just back in the, in that proud spirit, like in 1978. You know, you see that video. That's basically the same spirit they back in. 
just make it's like right in your face, making they're painting their face black, calling you a um you know racial slur, nigga, wet back spit, whatever, because they know that you're not going to do anything about it. All right, that's how that's how prideful they are, and you know what they right man, you know, as far as uh, knowing that you're not going to do anything about it, because here it is when a nigga step on your another so another nigga shoes, or right, you want to fight him, kill him or shoot him. You ain't gonna never forget that that the nigga that stepped on your shoes. Yet Esau, the so called white man, he could do the same exact thing. You'll forgive him, you know. Oh, it's okay. You'll, you know, smile, say it's all right. Even, you know, tell him, like, no, nah, it's all good, you know, don't even trip. Treat him to completely different. Yet this is who your real enemy is, man. But you don't do act the same way towards your, um, your own people. All right. And you having that mentality is just gonna lead to your destruction, man. All right, trusting in the so-called white man, looking at looking at him as he is somebody to uh, to be a friend or somebody that's cool. All right, somebody that's going to be so-called kind to you. All right, you got the wrong idea, man. You got it all wrong if you're thinking that, and that's what's going to lead to your destruction from trusting in Esau. You know, trusting in the devil, pretty much. All right, continuing on, it says, and thou shalt be unto him as if thou had his wife a looking glass, and thou shalt know that his rust. Have not been altogether wiped away. Yeah, and that's exactly what it is, you know. You His rust hasn't been wiped away. And you, and you can, it's like a looking glass. You're seeing right through it, man. All right. We can see right through and see his wickedness. Here it is. Y'all always, our people always marching and all that BS talking about no justice, no peace. All right. How long, how y'all going to keep doing that, man? How long are you going to keep on marching and just crying about nothing? Because all that marching that you're doing and everything isn't going to change anything. You're still in the same predicament that you've always been in from Trayvon Martin all the way back to whoever else. All these other jakes that have been getting killed. All y'all do is march and nothing changes, man. You want to sit here and protest when he's just, Esau's just going to get away with it again. Get off. Don't even get charged. All right. Get a slap on the wrist. Yeah, you still continue to trust in your enemy. You know, that's why our people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, as it says in Hosea 4 and 6. All right. And this is Ecclesiastes 7 and 7. Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad, and a gift destroyeth the heart. Because our people are still in oppression to this very day, man. All right. Here it is. You can literally get pulled over, shot, killed, all right, by a cop. Get uh, Have an Edomite call the cops on you, lie and say you did something, or say you got a weapon, or whatever. And that actually happened to us before, like me and some other brothers hanging out. And then Esau called call the police and say that they threatened me and said um, they had guns. We didn't even have, you know, damn well, we didn't have no guns on us. And we didn't even threaten them. It was just that we got into a, a verbal confrontation or whatever because he was being racist and we called him out on it. And then what? He called the cops and then sit there and lie. All right. Yet we we know we know um we know what to expect from Esau man and we got out of that situation because we handled it handled it accordingly, all right. Through the spirit of Yah, Hashem Shai. Yet we understand who our enemy is and who we're dealing with, man. Our people they don't. Two thirds of our people, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you don't even know that this is your oppressor, all right. You you our people actually want to continue to live here in America. When you're literally getting beat up all the time by the cops, by Esau, all right, he looks down on you. You're not even treated equal here to this very day. You're still not looked at as equal, all right? And that's all y'all y'all really care about is being equal with the so-called white man who is your enemy. He's actually lower than you, but you want to be equal with him, want to be equal with shit. That just shows you the mentality of our people, man. They have a shitty mentality, man. You want to be equal with somebody who's the basest man on earth. And you're the you're supposed to be the greatest people on earth, all right. That's why two thirds of our people have to just be destroyed, man. And the scriptures say that the gift destroyeth the heart, all right. Esau then gave you all these gifts and everything, all right. Now you're looking at him as somebody that you always got to come back to and trust in, because he's been so called giving you all these things, giving you a job. You see, we see Esau as your school, you know, your teacher, your doctor, all right. Uh, you, you go to college. Your job. You, you see Esau every damn where, man. As somebody to so-called look up to when he really, he isn't, man. All right? Yet, when you see our people, what do you see them? What do you see um, them as, you know? They always paint, paint it as a criminal, a thug, a lowlife. 
dirt bag, you know, all these different things, which is true. Because two thirds of our people, they, they do do those things. Yet the people that are people that do do so-called good things, make inventions and do positive things. They're not putting a light. Why? Because Esau ain't going to let that be out there. He wants you to have that image in your mind that you're you're below me. You're 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 a dirt bag. All right. You're lower than me. You're not equal to me. That's his mentality. He's thinking like that. Yeah. How are you thinking? You thinking you want to be evil to this piece of shit. All right. And that's why two thirds of our people just got to go, man. All right. Like the scriptures say. And Isaiah, you know, your whole head is sick. And um, and death is better than continual sickness. All right? Because our people are sick in the mind, man, to sit here. Matter of fact, I'm going I'm to grab that. Because our people are sick in the mind to really want to be under this so-called white man and continue to live like that. All right? This is Rock 30 and 17. It says, death is, death is better than a bitter life. Or continual sickness. And is this not a bitter life that we have to live? Alright. Being under your oppressor. The basis of men. Having to go work for Esau. Having to, to deal with his money. Having to wake up and go to work. Pay rent. Pay all the, all the taxes and other BS. Unclean food. Alright. This, this, this whole life should be bitter. Alright. You know we're not depressed and shit. Yet. This life should still be bitter to you because this ain't this ain't the kingdom at the end of the day. Alright. And to us, yeah, death would be better than being alive. Yet yeah, it's necessary for us to be here because what are we doing? We're actually doing what we were meant to, man. Serving Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Yeah, two thirds of our people, y'all, what are you doing? You know, you're not doing anything. You ain't serving Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Alright. So you're you're better off just being dead at that point. You're already spiritually dead anyway, man. That's why you don't know who your enemy is, okay? And you're going to be destroyed right along with Esau for trusting in him, man. Trusting in your oppressor, all right? Yeah, and this is Proverbs 11 and 21. It says, Though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished, but the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. Yeah, so all of our people that want to join hand in hand in Esau, you know, be on the so-called white man's side, all right, you want to sit here and be a ride or die for Esau to the very end? Well, you're going to die or ride along with Esau, man, in the very end. All right? When he comes with that great wrath, like it says in Revelations 12 and 12. Since you want to stick on his side and everything and always defend him, like, oh, that's not all white people or even mice can be saved, this and that. You always want to keep hope in there for Esau. Hey, man, let's see how far that hope gets you when he coming and kicking your ass, man. He already does that now, but wait until he really just, just all the way do it, man. All right, where it's nonstop, where you can't go, where you can't um, get you a little weak ass uh, lawyer, all right, and be on the news talking about the injustices that you saw the did to you, all right, because it's gonna come to a point to where you ain't gonna be able to do that no more, man. You ain't gonna be able to call a lawyer and be like, hey, a, a cop just beat me up, or I was wrongfully, um, unjustfully beat, beaten by a police officer, this and that. Hey, because when Esau is coming with that great wrath and that martial law and everything else is going down. Hey, it's going to be all bad out here, man. And you're going to see his true colors. All right? You're going to see that you trusted in the wrong guy. Instead of trusting in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh you chose to trust in the devil. All right? And that's when it's all going to be known. It's going to be too late, though. All right? At that point, yeah, you're going to you're gonna get punished right along with Esau because you chose his ways instead of the ways of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right? Hey, so with that, you know, I just wanted to say that real quick. Because it was on my mind um, when I had seen this video, you know, really just seeing what Esau is, you know, seeing the devil for what he is. And our people, they can't do that. They can't see that. They're blind, spiritually blind to see the devil for who he is, you know. And that's what's going to lead to your destruction. All right. So with that, I'm going to give all praises again to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone. And Shalom, Tata Akim out there preaching his word, truth, sincerity. Shalom.